growing up, I, um, I struggled through just years of years from probably as early as eighth grade up until my senior year of high school and beyond that with a really deep uh, depression and, and deep anxiety. And that all culminated in an attempt to take my own life when I was 17 years old. Leading up to my attempt, I just had an overwhelming sense of being alone. It was kind of like the world had lost all color for the people around you to just have no idea what's going on inside. It just does something to a person. Um, and it does something to, it did something to my relationship with God. I, I, in that time, I don't feel like I was close to God. Um, he was close to me and I'm grateful for that. And, that's the joy, but in the time, in the moment. I just started being attacked, like in my mind, there were just, there were just lies upon lies of God isn't real. You're not worthy. You're not loved. You're not cared about. And it was just over and over and over again until I decided that there was that nothing else made sense to me than to, to attempt to take my life. Moving forward, I began to really do some very practical things. Um, I started going to counseling um, an hour individually, individual sessions an hour every week and then group sessions for two hours every week. So that's three hours of counseling every single week for two years. It was, it was hard work, but it was, it was very important work. And I would say that that was like the foundation of where God healed me and how God healed me. I couldn't, there was no way I could go around my healing. Like I had to, I had to go into the darkest parts of my soul and sit there. Um, this place, this church, Calvary Assembly, I never thought that this would be where I would end up, where I would find my home. Uh, I grew up Catholic and that was a beautiful part of my life, but um, this place became my home. It became the place where I learned about who God is, where I learned what real love is, what that's supposed to look like. God walked with me every step of the way through my healing, through every single disappointment. I cannot thank the Lord enough for just making my life more full and beautiful and joyful than I ever thought it could be. I, I, I didn't think, I thought maybe I could get through my depression and learn how to cope, but I didn't think I could have joy. I didn't think that I could have peace. And I'm so grateful that he brought that to me, that he brought me just a life that is colorful again, a life that I can just, I can just breathe and I, I don't have to feel weight. Like I, I can't explain what that's like, that freedom that comes from, from God, from, encountering him and when I when I lead worship that's what that's where I'm coming from like I'm coming from this place of of wow God you showed up you showed up when nobody else did but my I tell this story I tell the story of who I am but how I live my life is my life that's not because of anything I do that's good or bad, but because of the love that surrounds me, that's the testimony of God's goodness in my life. And that's the testimony of, of this place.